we are on the smallest island of uh, the Azores. This island is so tiny that it's like six kilometers long and four kilometers wide so it's very very small and on the entire island there is one village right this one just try to guess a number how many people live on this island so apparently there are not more than 500 people living here can you imagine living on an island with like 500 people <laughs> it's like living in a one big family the streets are very very narrow It's very very small but there is a school, there is a kindergarten, there is the town hall ATM machine over there one and I also read before I came here which this is I guess the proof that piracy was very very common here on Corvo right now we are going to walk up to a viewpoint and yeah we are gonna see how is the view gonna be since it's uh, a bit cloudy <laughs> otherwise there is really not that much to do here mainly it's fishing and hiking but besides of that and when it comes to the economy of the island i read that of course besides of all these teachers and police and people employed in the town hall people also raise cattle and this is the only village on this island it's also possible to see the airport right there with like a tiny little small house then on the left from the airport there is the port it was the airport and the port which broke the great isolation of uh, this island and of course now they have everything they need on the island but before when they needed priests or doctors they communicated by phone but yeah before electricity was introduced to the island they had to communicate by signs of smoke and here is another like funny thing that uh, these black well kind of stone walls they divide properties And then in these little black stone houses, they store tools for farming. Can you imagine this like a month ago when it was all blue? So we arrived on the top, I'm not sure if it's possible to hear me because it's super windy. The lakes are beautiful, it's a bit under clouds. This is the island of Corvo, it's very very small. And this is the place where the campsite is at it's even shown right now we are up here so we have to walk all the way down and here is a little fun fact if you look that way it's like the Indian's face, I guess, there. 
yeah but this is like wow super pretty you guys i'm gonna show you where i live right now right here that's where i can gonna arrive back to the village for some reason Corvo was the island I wanted to visit the most out of all the other islands I think it's just extremely insane and cool how this small community of people in the middle of the Atlantic functions it's a very nice uh, thing to experience although I would not like to live here to be honest but to see it it's very amazing there is this last thing which i just want to show right by the camping which is there there is this cute little beach so this is the campsite that's the airport right there I'm also gonna show you the bathroom and the showers so yeah I think it looks quite okay it's 8 in the morning and I'm on the way to the port because we are gonna take a boat to Flourish Island which is right there it's possible to see it a little bit and uh, it's like 24 kilometers away from Korwa and uh, well it takes like almost an hour to get there I'm still trying to figure out the plan because I'm not exactly sure yet 